President Biden preparing to address the nation tonight in his first State of the Union. He's expected to unveil his plan for lowering prices on all kinds of things as inflation sits at a 40-year high. Joining me now is Republican Congressman Kevin Brady, Republican leader of the House Ways and Means Committee. Uh, Congressman, great to see you again. Let me just put up for our viewers a list of Biden's plan to lower inflation. Four points. The first one, bolstering supply chains. Of course, he's been trying to do this, hasn't lowered prices so far. Reducing the cost of everyday expenses. That's kind of like, I wish I could do something. Uh, enacting further antitrust measures. That means companies would be spending more money, which means, inf you know, inflation would go up more. And promoting union labor, how would any of these things actually lower inflation? Yeah, none of them, none of them, David, as you, as you know, would do that, in fact, likely drive it higher. And I think the president needs to understand, as he takes that podium tonight to talk to the American people, more than half of Americans feel like the economy is in a recession or depression already. Two-thirds of them believe that, that prices are going to outpace their paychecks for the next three years or more. Uh, a lot of economists are really worried we're already in a wage price spiral, which no country wants because it always ends in a recession. And so uh, I think the president's completely out of touch uh, on this issue, as he has been since that big $2 trillion March COVID stimulus that kicked off and fueled all this inflation. At the end of the day, inflation is about workers. It's the workers, people. And the president tonight ought to announce steps that would get people back to the workforce because that would help us lower inflation, get more people uh, on the yeah. production line, the assembly line, the delivery uh, process. I, I worry, though, he just uh, is out of touch on this. Well, and there's a huge group of workers that, that are hurt terribly by his energy policy. And those are the yes. six to, to 10 million workers in the fossil fuel industry and from production to retail, uh, who a lot of whom are, are looking for work right now because their terrific union, very often union job, was eliminated by the president's war on fossil fuels. Yeah, and as if to make it worse, you know, yesterday the president announced he wouldn't be appealing a court ruling that uh, stops uh, a new round of leasing in the Gulf of Mexico. And so it's a time when we ought to be weaning ourselves out of Russian uh, oil and gas uh, and being more reliable partner for Europe to wean them off of Russian oil and gas. The president's actually taking steps to drive prices higher and do less made in America energy. And David, it just doesn't make sense. Well, and it, not only is it bad for the workers, but of course, it's it's bad for everybody who consumes energy on every level, whether it's heating their house yep. or filling up their gas tank. And as we, as you suggested, it's also now we realize bad for foreign policy. You got 20 seconds. Go ahead. Oh, uh, no. Well, no, to, to your point exactly, I'll tell you another way the president's going to fuel inflation even higher is proposing all the new tax hikes on businesses right now, which he keeps pushing for, that will end up in the prices bottom, uh, higher prices for consumers, higher taxes for lower and moderate income workers. Again, he needs to reverse course. Yeah. Well, as Cudlow would say, make the Trump tax cuts permanent. No uh, question. Maybe, maybe after the midterms, we'll be able to do that. Kevin Brady, great to see you. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it.